clouds, dark clouds are gathering as markets shudder. Stocks are sinking. Currencies are stumbling. Fear and uncertainty is reigning. And the Middle East and in the Ukraine and Taiwan, the debt is endless. Yet one asset stands firm, gold. It is a biblical currency. In crisis after crisis, gold is there. In the background, always there. Its enduring value guards against loss, like a missile shield against incoming. While paper wealth burns, gold persists. Shield your savings against the looming threats of war, recession, contagion, and avoid the frenzy panic of the unprepared. Take control in the chaos. Your fortune favors decisive action. Get a hold of gold now before it's out of reach. Go right now to noblegoldinvestment.com or just simply go to the link below www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com or call them at 877-646-5347. You'll be glad you did. In Turkey, archaeologists have unveiled a remarkable discovery that suggests the presence of a vessel resembling the legendary Noah's Ark. This monumentous find resulted from an extensive excavation that was carried out by the collaborative Mount Era and Noah's Ark research team, which brings together researchers from three Turkish and American universities. Their ambitious project, initiated in 2021, was dedicated to investigating the geological formations in the region, with the intent of shedding light on ancient history. The epicenter of this revelation is situated within the Durupinar Formation, which is located in a district of Turkey that is in close proximity to the Iranian-Turkish border. The Durupinar Formation is a remarkable geological feature spanning 538 feet, primarily composed of limonite, WION reported. Notably, local belief has, over time, linked this formation to the possible remnants of Noah's Ark, a vessel enshrined in religious and legendary narratives. Noah's Ark is a universally recognized legend transcending religious boundaries. According to this legendary tale, Noah, following divine guidance, undertook the construction of a colossal ark to safeguard pairs of every animal species from the catastrophic flood that inundated the earth. As recounted in the book of Genesis, the ark ultimately came to a rest on the mountains of Arat, which are now situated in eastern Turkey. In the heart of Kabul, the capital of Afghanistan, a minibus detonated within a predominantly Shiite Muslim neighborhood, resulting in the tragic loss of at least seven innocent lives and causing injuries to 20 others, as reported by the authorities on Tuesday. Remarkably, this marks the second explosion to afflict this specific region within the past two weeks. Khalid Zadran, the police spokesperson, disclosed that the blast occurred in the western sector of the city, specifically the Dashti Barkai area, the Associated Press reported. While the exact cause of the explosion remains a mystery, the police have initiated an investigation into the incident. At present, no individual or group has claimed responsibility for this attack. However, it is worth noting that the affiliate of the Islamic State has previously targeted Shiite schools, hospitals, and mosques in this very area. Ventura County authorities in California are currently investigating the tragic death of a Jewish man following an altercation during dueling rallies, one in support of Israel and the other for Palestine. The individual, Paul Kessler, age 69, passed away on Monday, as reported by the Sheriff's Department. Eyewitnesses stated that Kessler, quote, was involved in a physical altercation with counter-protesters, as disclosed by the Ventura County Sheriff's Department in an official statement. The statement further elaborated that during the altercation, 
Kessler fell backward and suffered a head injury after striking the ground, NBC News reported. This incident took place around 3.20 p.m. local time on Sunday in Thousand Oaks, which is a community situated in the Los Angeles area just beyond the Ventura County border, according to the Sheriff's Department. Kessler was promptly transported to a hospital where he succumbed to his injuries on Monday. The Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office has determined the cause of death to be a blunt force head injury, categorizing it as a homicide, as noted in the Sheriff's Department's statement. At the time of the incident, both pro-Israeli and pro-Palestinian rallies were taking place concurrently at Westlake and Thousand Oaks Boulevards, according to the Sheriff's Department. An active investigation is being conducted, and the Sheriff's Department has urged anyone who attended the demonstrations or possesses relevant information to come forward and assist with the inquiry.